Hello, dear readers. Today, I'm going to introduce our research. The topic is what triggers tourist anxiety: the differential impacts of crisis information source types in social media on tourist cross-border travel anxiety. And this is me, Zixin Cheng, a student from Huachao University in China. I'm the first author. Professor Wen Qiran is the corresponding author, and the co-authors are Dr. Shu Lingzhang and Fang Deng. In the decision-making process, the limited knowledge of foreign country lead cross-border tourists to rely more on media information and evaluate the local safety through crisis-related information. As a result, they may react anxiously towards both the extensive crisis information and traveling abroad, which will affect their future judgments and behaviors. However, few studies have discussed the relationship between tourism crisis information. And cross-border tourist emotional reactions. Thus, drawing on the heuristic systematic model, we aim to figure out which crisis information publishers will trigger higher cross-border travel anxiety in potential tourists. What is their internal psychological reaction, and is there any strategies to re- reduce tourist anxiety? Results of the three situational experiments show that organization release crisis information triggers higher tourist cross-border travel anxiety than government wants, with perceived uncertainty mediating it. Crisis communication message appeals significantly reduce the above negative effects, and without that, rational message appeals work for the governmental crisis communication, while emotional ones for organizational. Thus. We suggest that DMOs should tailor heuristic-based crisis information dissemination strategies and adapt appropriate crisis communication message styles based on the publisher's characteristics. For theoretical implications, our study re-examines the cause and effects and the intervention mechanism of tourist reactions to crisis information, which expands the cross-border tourism crisis management research. That's all for the introduction, and thanks for your attention. Bye.